like we I'm have... even in a good mood. Now that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ontario employers arguably have something to gripe about. And there are two reasons why they can gripe. One is the courts in Ontario were pretty aggressive at finding termination provisions to be unenforceable. Those that in particular limit entitlement to minimum standards. And the second reason is a very recent reason, which is if you don't have an enforceable termination provision or you don't have one at all in your employment agreement, the employee's entitled to common law reasonable notice. All right, well, what's the maximum? So the maximum has typically been 24 months. Okay, so if you know that, then you're able to negotiate because you understand or what to offer because the maximum is 24 months. The only exception to that has been in exceptional circumstances. So most cases you don't have exceptional circumstances, so it's not relevant. Well, arguably that has changed. We have a couple of court of appeal decisions here in Ontario now that have basically taken the ordinary and made it the exceptional. So in one case, you have 30 months awarded and in another one, you have 27 months that was awarded to the employee. In both cases, there was nothing extraordinary other than long service, one case, somewhat unique set of skills, but nothing extraordinary in that regard. And in the other case, you had sort of a yeah, managerial position, but basically ho-hum. So now if you're an Ontario employer and you're exposed to common law, is there a cap? And by the way, the court made it very clear in one of these two decisions that there is no cap in Ontario. So let me understand this. There's no cap. Exceptional is no longer exceptional. It's now the ordinary. And we now have hit already 30 months. How high could it possibly go? Who knows? How do you know you're in a good mood? Well, because I'm not feeling hatred towards you. <laughs> yeah, hatred is too that, strong. No, it's, it's, a, it's a big word. <laughs> well, it's not so many letters. It's just, it has a, you know, it's kind of a deep meaning. So don't mess up my car. <laughs>